the works of your hands. Mighty are the works of your hands. Mighty are the works of your hands. unto the Lord and all ye lands. He says, Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endure to all generations you may be seated in the presence of the lord we give honor again to our lord and savior jesus christ to our elders and our ministers our deacons to our mothers and our missionaries to our first lady to all of the saints of the most high god we're happy glad to be back in the presence of the saints in powerhouse we do appreciate all of you and staff that held things together while we were out, the elders, the ministers, the missionaries, and the mothers. Thank you for all the work that you do. We thank God that he allowed us to travel and others to travel to and fro with no harm, no danger, and well, no harm, no accidents, or significant hindrances. He allowed us to come back safely and we honor him and we appreciate that as many of you know this week is the week of thanksgiving it's typically a time of family gathering and for many of us we'll sin by eating too much so we're going to ask the lord to go ahead and forgive us in advance for the sin we probably going to commit during this week Amen. Somebody else can cough up. Forgive me, Lord. Too. Thanksgiving Day is an annual national holiday in the United States and Canada, celebrating the harvest and other blessings of the past year. Thanksgiving Day in the U.S. and Canada is modeled on a harvest feast shared by the English colonists or the pilgrims on Plymouth and on Wamp Panug people in 1621. It is intended to celebrate, celebrate the blessings of the past year. Thanksgiving Day became an official holiday in 1863. In 1942, the federal government designated the fourth Thursday in November as Thanksgiving. A traditional Thanksgiving meal typically consists of turkey, cranberries, bread stuffing, you could tell this was written in the north, and pumpkin pie. You know we eat potato pie down here. And other dishes. Canada traces its Thanksgiving celebration to 1578. And Thanksgiving became a national holiday there in 1879. And since 1957, it's been celebrated on the second Monday of October. This year it was October the 9th. 
But how many know that there are two sides, at least two sides to the, the, the end of story? Unfortunately, when it comes to the history of Thanksgiving, generations of Americans have been taught a one-sided history in homes and schools. See, the dominant culture and historical story that has been told from the perspective of the white colonists who landed near Plymouth Rock in Massachusetts in 1620. In this version, Thanksgiving, this Thanksgiving story is a holiday that commemorates the peaceful, friendly meeting of the English settlers and the Wampanoag tribe for three days of fasting, of feasting, and Thanksgiving in 1621. Every year, news outlets and social media get a buzz about Thanksgiving things. But there's little coverage of the fact that November is Native American Heritage Month, or that the day after Thanksgiving is known as Black Friday, is Native Amer American Heritage Day. See, the mainstream, mainstream version of Thanksgiving the story paints a picture of courageous Christian settlers braving the perils of the New World and with the help of some friendly natives finding a way to make a life for themselves. In the days around Thanksgiving, many teachers focus on the happy story, having students make American Indian hairdresses out of construction paper and holding Thanksgiving reenactment in their classroom. Very few teachers teach. Very few teachers realize that the construction hairdresses and school reenactment create a lump stereotype that Native Americans all wear the same regalia. These schools activities encourage young people to think it's okay to wear a culture as a costume. This makes it hard for the students to recognize the diversity of the Native, Native American tribes and make students believe it's okay to mimic Native American traditional wear, wearing without understanding or acknowledgement or any appreciation for the significance of what those hairdressers or those car outfits meant to the American Indians. Very few teachers get a chance to tell the real story about the massacre of the natives tribes like the Paconauts that took place in the years that followed that winter season. There's also no mention of the English settlers robbing the graves and stealing food from the tribes in order to survive their first year on this continent. It's important to know that for many Amer Native Americans, Thanksgiving is really a day of mourning and a protest since it commemorates the arrival of settlers in North, America's, North America and centuries of oppression and, geno and the genocide that followed. As saints, we celebrate Thanksgiving as a national holiday, but the reality is that every day should be a Thanksgiving for a day of Thanksgiving. In fact, we should offer several thanks during the day on a regular basis. We should offer Thanksgiving when we wake up in the morning. We should offer Thanksgiving before our breakfast. We should offer Thanksgiving before our lunch. And we should offer Thanksgiving for our dinner. We should also offer Thanksgiving before we go to bed. And for the deep people, they offer Thanksgiving many times in between. Some offer praise more often than others. Because the Lord is good and his mercy endure it forever. In our passage of scripture here found in Psalms 100 that we read often, I read it very often. I want to walk through about seven commands that we find in that passage. We find that not only this, this passage is considered to have been written by David and is considered to be written during the time between the, Moses, the exodus of Moses and, and somewhere between there and Ezra. He gives us some commands that we need to do in order to have true thanksgiving of who God is. First, it tells us to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Now, the joyful doesn't necessarily mean that I sound good. It simply means that I make a joyful noise unto the land. <coughs> it's referring to all the people of the land, believers or non-believers, we can make a joyful noise unto the land. And when you look at that, and I look, that, look up making, it said to make means to bring into existence by shaping or changing material or combining parts. 
it means to produce something, a cause or something to exist or something to happen, to bring about. It means to cause, to be or become, to render. And I heard somebody that used to sing a song, Sister, C, Sister Fee may sing a little bit, whoever sung that song, what shall I render? Maybe we'll get a little piece of that a little later on. <coughs> to make means to appoint or to name. It means to put in proper condition or state for use, to fix, to prepare, to bring into a certain form, to convert from one state or condition or category to another one, to cause, to induce, to compel, to give rise to. It's somebody ought to be feeling what I'm talking about now. When you make something, you don't settle for where it is. You don't settle for the situation to be what it seems to be because I'm going to make a joyful noise unto the lame. It means to bring together separate parts to produce a whole. It means to become by development proved to be to form in the mind. In other words, before you can get it out externally, you now got to get it in your mind. He said, make a joyful noise. And I know I sometimes try to sing it. It may not be joyful to you, but he didn't say make it joyful to your neighbor. He said, make a joyful noise to the Lord. The meaning of making a joyful noise to the Lord means we use our own voices. We use our hymns or instruments or whatever we have at our disposal to make a noise, a joyful noise to the Lord. Secondly, it tells us that we're to serve the Lord with gladness. To serve means to be in service of, to work, work for, to be useful or in service. To go through a term of service, to render active service, to render obedience a homage to perform the duties or to contribute. That's what it means to serve. He said, come before his presence with singing. Romans 12 and 1 says, I beseech thee therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. He said, know ye that the Lord, he is God. Anybody know that the Lord is God? I tell people that we in a, we, we in such a season now that there's in so much disagree, disagreement about so much stuff. Why can't we just find the things that we agree on and, and, and we'll find out that we agree on a lot more than we disagree on. But the enemy is allowing our whole society to elevate and blow up all the things that we disagree on. But if we could simply just agree on the fact, know you that the Lord is God. If we could agree on that, that will reduce a lot of the other crazy stuff that's going on in our society. The Bible says it is he that has made us. We didn't make ourselves. Uh, and we are the people and the sheep of his pasture. Uh, somebody may say some goats in there too. Yeah, but that's another whole story. Uh, the fourth verse says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Now, when we look at this, we see that they're referring almost back to, to, the, to the tabernacles to be able to say, come into the, to the house, come into the gates, come into the, to the place with thanksgiving. He says, and enter into his courts with praise. Hallelujah. Don't just come in with your head hung down. I, I, I dare you to try, start trying that. So I'm going to come into his house with praise. I'm not going to wait till the praise team tell me to get up and praise. I'm going to come into the building with my own praise. Enter into his courts with praise and be thankful unto him and bless his name. So you got those covered. Make Sir, no, enter, be thankful, bless his name. And then he caps it all off by saying, for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Somebody might get that. See, in a society where there's a lot of untruth going on, his truth endure to all generations his truth was there before our generation his truth was there before our other generation his truth hallelujah is always going to be there his truth so as we celebrate thanksgiving 
as you eat too much, if we make it, some people still ain't going to make it to Thanksgiving. But if we make it there, we got what? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We got four days to celebrate Thanksgiving before Thanksgiving Day. And if we could just get it in our spirit that I'm going to be thankful. I'm going to give him these seven commands. I'm going to give him these seven praises. I'm going to start by making a joyful noise to the Lord. I'm going to serve him 24-7. I'm going to come before his presence with singing. May not sound too good to you, but just stick your finger in you. Just stick your finger and you start making your noise. He didn't say it had to sound good. It just said joyful noise. And it might sound good to me. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. Do I have anybody in here to know that today? Does anybody know that the Lord is God? Anybody know that he is? He made us and we didn't make ourselves? Now I dare you just for a few minutes for you to stand on your feet and give the Lord a praise of thanksgiving. Give him a praise. If I believe you can think of a few things that you could be thankful for. Thank you for my heart. Thank you for life. Thank you for my reasonable health. Thank you for my strength. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I'm thankful because I was a red child What did the live and what prepared to die? Hallelujah. But I entered his gates with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Hallelujah. And he saved me. He sanctified me. And he filled me with the anointing and the power of the Holy Ghost. The same God can be found uh, in the Godhead. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, over in the New Testament. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, when I wasn't fit to live uh, and wasn't prepared to die. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, see, he came uh, to this barren world. Uh, he came uh, in the spiritual uh, and he came in the flesh. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, he was born uh, of a virgin. Uh, named Mary. Uh, oh, yes, he did. Uh, and he came out. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, so that we could uh, be redeemed. Uh, yes, he did. Uh, my Lord. Uh, stayed in uh, for about 30 years uh, and said, I must be uh, about my father's uh, my father's business. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, y'all know the story. Uh, how he went to the wedding uh, when they went out of wine uh, and turn water uh, into wine. Uh, y'all have heard about it. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, if you ain't thankful, uh, I dare you uh, to say thank you, Jesus, uh, for turning that water uh, into wine uh, and to the joy uh, of my salvation. Uh, y'all know about it. Uh, hallelujah. He uh, healed the sick. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, the Bible declared uh, that he healed. Uh, all manner uh, of sicknesses uh, and 
diseases that oftentimes uh, we think about. Uh, hallelujah. Physical sickness. Uh, but I stop by today to tell you, uh, heal your mental, mental sicknesses. Uh, heal your spiritual sicknesses. Uh, all manner uh, of sicknesses uh, and diseases. Uh, hallelujah. And the society, uh, the religious people, uh, they decided uh, we got to get rid of her. Uh, get rid of him. Uh, because we're messing up uh, our economic system. But I stop by uh, to let you know uh, God is still, uh, he's still good. Uh, hallelujah. Send his son uh, to this bad world. Uh, hallelujah. So they decided uh, to have a mock trial. Uh, got to get rid of him. Uh, and they found him. Uh, people think uh, when we know he was uh, innocent. Uh, but the Bible said uh, that he committed uh, no sin. Uh, he was down. Uh, found in his mouth. Uh, what a testimony. Hallelujah. But he endured uh, the criticism uh, of the religious people. He endured. Uh, hallelujah. He endured uh, the sinners that they gave him. That he would be uh, hung on the cross. Uh, hallelujah. So they took him uh, and they beat him uh, all night long. Uh, put a crown uh, of thorns on his head. Uh, yes, they did. Uh, took him. Uh, to gog up the hill, uh, hallelujah, uh, where they nailed him uh, to the rugged cross, uh, hallelujah. Uh, somebody uh, must have got forgot uh, about the fact uh, that he is said uh, that if I be uh, lifted up uh, from the earth, uh, I'll draw uh, all men uh, unto me. Uh, I'll stop by uh, our house uh, to tell you. Uh, I am uh, part of all men. I draw all men uh, unto me. Uh, hallelujah. So they hung him up, uh, stretched him wide, uh, hung him uh, on that rugged cross. Uh, and if that was uh, it's up enough, uh, they pierced his side. Uh, hallelujah. And blood uh, and water uh, came streaming out. Uh, hallelujah. While he hung there. Uh, on that rugged cross, uh, he gave the two, uh, one on the left uh, and one on the right, uh, an opportunity uh, to be in his kingdom with him in paradise. Hallelujah. But after a while, uh, he hung there for a while. Uh, and after a while, uh, he died. Uh, he died. Uh, Stayed your day. Uh, he died. Uh, he hung his head uh, and told the Lord, uh, into the hand. I command my spirit. Imagine that hanging on the cross, knowing I got all power in his hands. He had all power in his hands. And the Bible said he died. He gave up and he died. And they took him down, put him in a borrowed tomb. Hallelujah. But I'm so glad uh, on this Sunday morning, I'm so glad, uh, I'm so glad uh, that what the end uh, of the story, uh, hallelujah, went to the grave, uh, they put him in uh, a borrowed tomb, uh, and he stayed there uh, for three days, uh, to give him a handbrake, but on that third, uh, that third day, uh, he got up uh, with all power in his hand, uh, ain't you glad? That he got up. Uh, ain't you glad uh, that he got up? Uh, is anybody uh, glad he got up uh, with all power? All power. All power in his hands. Uh, power over sickness. Uh, power over disease. Uh, power over heart condition. Power over high blood pressure. Power over cancer, power over anemia, power over sickle cell, power over depression, power over loneliness, power over all sin, hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. I'm so glad after praising him for all of that. That wasn't the end of the story he ministered to his disciples for 40 days. And then he got on a cloud and went back to the right side of his father. Told him to go to Jerusalem and wait. Where you wait on him? Where you wait on him in your calamity? Will you praise him while you're waiting in your catastrophe? Will you praise him? Will you worship him while you're waiting? Will you worship him? When look like all hell breaking loose, I'm going to worship him. Told him to go to, uh, to Jerusalem uh, and wait uh, till you endure it uh, with power. Uh, for more high, uh, hallelujah. I stopped by uh, this morning uh, to remind you uh, you ought to be excited uh, to come into uh, the presence uh, of the Lord. Uh, ask me why. Uh, because the same, uh, the same power, hallelujah, that he do at the trial, the same power that kept him uh, on the cross, uh, same power. Uh, that he died, uh, same power, uh, that got him a uh, finally great. Uh, if you got the uh, power of the Holy Ghost, uh, you got hope. Uh, hallelujah. One of these old days, uh, I may not uh, be very long. Uh, you don't look for me, and I'm going to be gone uh, on home. Uh, but I stop by to remind you uh, and to let you know uh, on that uh, get up morning, uh, that same power that keep me today, uh, that same power that deliver me today, that same power that heal me today, uh, the same power that make me come uh, into his house uh, with thanksgiving, uh, the same power to heal me when I'm sick, the same power that deliver me uh, when I'm mad. Uh, it's gonna get me up. Hallelujah. So I dare you. <laughs> I double dog, I triple dog, I quadruple dog dare you to give him a praise for the power if you have it. And if you don't, I dare you to give him a praise because I can get it. I dare you to give him a praise. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost. Thank you for shaking me. Thank you for making me. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you got the power of the Holy Ghost, I tell you to give him a praise. And if you don't have it, I tell you to stand on your feet and say, feel me. Feel me, Lord. Feel me. Feel me, Lord. Hallelujah. I know when I was seeking the Holy Ghost, I thought I needed to roll on the floor. Hallelujah. So I fell down and I rolled, but I didn't get the Holy Ghost. Somebody said, Jeff, thank you, Jesus. I said, thank you, Jesus. And I didn't get it. Somebody said, praise the Lord. Somebody said, clap. Somebody said, raise your hand. Hallelujah. Chaos uh, was going on uh, in my ear, uh, but all I needed uh, was a gentleman uh, to walk up and say, uh, when I touch you, uh, hallelujah, uh, you going to begin uh, to speak in, uh, speak in tongues. Uh, he laid his hands uh, on me, uh, and nothing happened, uh, and he stepped back, uh, and he said, uh, when I lay hands, uh, 
up on you. You're going to begin to speak in another tongue. And the second time he laid his hands on me, I begin to speak in another tongue. And the Spirit gave me others. I stopped by to let you know. Let's stop taking the power and the anointing. Stop taking the Holy Ghost for granted. He's real. Tell your neighbor he's real. Tell your other neighbor he's real. And they say, How do you know? Because he's real. On the inside. <laughs> Hallelujah. Every now and then, <laughs> I take him for granted. <laughs> Every now and then, <laughs> I grieve him. <laughs> Every now and then, <laughs> I don't give him <laughs> the honor that he deserves. <laughs> Every now and then, <laughs> I don't put him in a place of <laughs> a priority <laughs> where he should be. <laughs> but also, uh, every now and then, uh, I get a reminder uh, of who he is. Uh, I get a reminder uh, that he's a comforter. Uh, when I'm down and out, uh, I get a reminder uh, that he's a healer. Uh, when I'm sick, uh, I get a reminder, uh, hallelujah, uh, that he's my bridge. Uh, when trouble come my way, hallelujah. Uh, sometimes, uh, as I get ready uh, to take my seat, uh, we sit. We spend so much uh, time honoring uh, trouble itself uh, that we can't praise him. Uh, we spend so much time uh, honoring uh, chaos uh, that we don't praise him. Uh, but I tell you, uh, I double dog, uh, I triple uh, and quadruple uh, you to declare uh, I'm going to praise him. I'm gonna praise him. I'm gonna praise him. I'm gonna praise him. The power of my God is not defined by the trouble I experience. Hallelujah. The power of my God is not defined by the trouble that I experience. He's God before your trouble. He's God in the midst of your trouble. And he's still God when you're troubled. Because I heard somebody sing, uh, trouble don't last. Uh, always, uh, I heard somebody say that the brightest, uh, that the darkest hour uh, is just before uh, the dawn. Uh, and I dare you uh, to say, uh, I'm going to praise uh, my way out of it. Is there anybody in this house that will say, I want the power, I want the anointing of the Holy Ghost? We're taking him for granted. Oh, when we get in trouble, we'll call on him. But he deserves the majority of our mind, sure. Hallelujah. Anybody with the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, we thank you for this season as a reminder that we have a lot to be thankful for. We have a lot to praise you for. We have a lot to worship you for. And God, we just ask right now, God, that you have your way in our hearts and our minds. Have your way in our lives, in our homes. Have your way in every dimension of who we are. Have your way, Lord. And God, we're thankful 
for the blood that you shed. We thank you for you going to the cross. We're thankful for you getting up after three days. We're thank you, thankful for you sending us the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Now, God, we render our praises. We render our worship to you as part of our thanksgiving. God bless us and keep us. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen.